So emotional intelligence is a very critical concept for longevity. Now, why is that? Because if you look at every one of those long-lived healthy people, one of their central signal characteristics is that they all have firm family and community connections. They all had firm family and community connections. That's the outgrowth. That's the symptom. That's the flower of emotional intelligence. So the results are very clear, not just from the societies that have been studied, but from every study of healthy centurions. They are connected. They are connected. They're not isolated. I'm going to tell you a personal story. A lot of you may know, uh, if you've been on my website, you read my books, you've heard me talk, you know that I had a history myself back in the day of addictions, from everything in the physician's disc, disc reference to, you know, every drug, every alcohol, a very big addiction in my past. Um, and so I have some real personal experience with that, uh, food, substances. And here's the story with drug addiction. Here's the big secret with drug addiction. And I'll tell you absolutely from the heart what it's about. It's about connection. They even have a term for it. When drug addicts talk about like they have to meet their connection, it's all about, there's no accident in language. It's all about connection. But here's the, and that's what happens when you get high like that. You feel connected. You're connected with the universe. Of course, it's all artificial, but that's what you feel. And that's what people long for. Now, there's healthier ways to do it. As I've discovered, and any of you who may be battling that, I hope you will discover one day, there are healthier ways to do it. But we have to honor that need for connection because it's a very basic human need. And the people who live the longest and the healthiest actually honor that need and find ways to do it in a healthy way.